Now we have to see the differences between curriculum and syllabus. I used to conduct a number of forums. I used to ask what is the difference between curriculum and syllabus. Most of them, they are confused themselves. Sir, it is part of curriculum, part of syllabus like that. They are having a confusion. Now we have to see in a clear cut way. First, what about the curriculum? Curriculum refers to totality of experience or overall experience gained by the learners within the classroom, outside the classroom. Generally, we can say. So, while we are discussing about the term curriculum, there are so many components in the curriculum. Take example, we want to introduce BSc Information Technology. First, we can start with the introduction about the course. What is the need for introducing the course? That is already have mentioned uh, BSc Information Technology. And also we have to mention what is the need for uh, that course, like that we have to say. The second one, scope of the course. What way society will be benefited after introducing that course? That we have to explain under the scope of the program. The third one, objectives of the program. Here we have to say what are the objectives we fulfilled after completion of three years program. Previously mentioned the course, now it is mentioning as a program. So after completion of three years uh, program, what are the objectives we fulfilled to be realized that we have to formulate under objectives of the program. The next one, the eligibility to join the program. So we have to fix the eligibility. Those who have completed plus two, twelfth standard, they are eligible to apply for UG program. That we have to mention the eligibility to join the course. Next, we have to discuss about how many courses to be studied by the students each and every semester. I take it as a semester system, right? Each semester, how many courses to be studied by the students? The each course having separate syllabus, that we can say the course syllabus, so that we have to say syllabus it is a part of curriculum, right? Curriculum we can say the entire uh, study, but uh, syllabus it is a part of uh, curriculum. So what are the components in the syllabus? We can see, first we can start with the objectives. The objectives, that is a course objectives. Then what are the things we delivered uh, to the students? Otherwise, we can say the content. It can be presented in the unit wise. Some uh, course having five units, some course having uh, ten units. According to the board of uh, studies, they have to decide, they have to finalize how many units in the particular course. Then, references. So, after uh, delivering information by the teacher in the classroom, what are the other books to be referred by the students? That we have to mention under reference books. So when we are talking about the syllabus, uh, we can see the sort with the course objectives. Then con uh, the content, uh, it can be presented the unit wise. Then reference books that we have to mention in the syllabus. Okay. What about other aspect? So each and every semester, take example, first semester, uh, five courses to be studied by the uh, students, like that, the second semester, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So totally 30 courses uh, to be studied by the students. So each course having separate syllabus. Then evaluation procedures of the program. Take example, uh, those who have secured 50 percent may be declared as a pass. Those who have secured 60 percent may be declared as a first class. Those who have secured 70 percent may be declared as a first class with the distinction. So there is a evaluation procedures, right? So while we are talking about the curriculum, what are the components uh, are very essential? First, they introduce the course, scope of the course, objectives of the program, then eligibility to join the course, then what are the uh, uh, courses to be studied each and every semester? Finally, we have to see the evaluation procedures. So while we are talking about the curriculum, these are the things that are very, very essential. So this way we have to see the difference between the curriculum and syllabus. The curriculum, the overall program. Syllabus, it is a part of curriculum. So each semester having number of courses, each course having separate syllabus. Like that we have to see the differences between 
கரிக்குலம் அண்ட் சிலபஸ்